And welcome back, everyone. Tonight on Money Talks with Jane 80, looking for a Christmas gift for someone who has everything. Lots of times, customized items with a personal touch are the answer. And that's just what one local businessman is hoping will make his product appealing to anyone looking for a special stocking stuffer or a souvenir of Newfoundland and Labrador. Jane 80 explains. Look how, uh, look how cute Tristan is uh, in that picture. He's so funny. Such a cute little fellow trying to shave like his dad. Dave Lee and his wife Amanda have lots of photos. Discs full. All reminders of fun times with their kids. For them, preserving images has become an important part of parenting. And finding creative ways to keep the memories alive has even turned into a business. What starts out as a color copy turns into a challenge. My 10-year-old loves it. He, he thinks it's great. You know, his dad makes puzzles. He's always bragging to his friends about the fact that I'm making puzzles, you know. So. <laughs> yeah, he actually made it a point the other day that when they do have career day, he said, I bet there'll be nobody else that has a dad that makes puzzles, right? So <laughs> making puzzles wasn't always Dave Lee's game plan. A couple of years ago, he was headed out to work on the oil rigs, leaving his young family behind for three weeks at a time. Just before he went, his father-in-law suggested a business idea to Dave. Ron Hickey owns Eastern Packaging and Printing. He always thought puzzles would be a good seller. And so far, Dave is piecing together a living. But it's not always about the money, you know. I enjoy what I do now, and uh, whether I make more money at this or at the oil rigs is really irrelevant. Uh, it's about enjoying what I do and enjoying my family. You know, my kids are only young once, so. When Dave started, his target was the tourist market. Local images like this one broken down into a little box. Some of his puzzles are made for quiet evenings at home. Others are made to travel. And these are our postcard puzzles. Uh, one of our more popular items in the uh, Newfoundland tourist uh, shops and stuff. We also people use them for invitations and things of that sort. Um, I'll just show you now that the puzzle it's still stuck together so you can write your message on it. There's an envelope enclosed in here so you can put your puzzle in it. And this is the puzzle broke up after you obviously you write your message and you put your puzzle in the envelope. And you send it off to your family member away for a little piece of Newfoundland. He makes puzzle announcements and puzzle invitations. The kids really enjoy seeing their own picture on a puzzle. And for Christmas, a, a, a personalized puzzle with a picture of your cat or your dog or your family or, you know, your grandchildren or whatever on it with some dates on it, it's a, it's a great gift and you can frame it and keep it forever. The thing with a puzzle is it hangs around. I mean, no one throws out a puzzle. And Dave Lee sees a good opportunity to bring these little boxes to big box stores. Well, there's so many different avenues. Like now we're, we're looking at maybe talking to some people who own uh, photography studios and putting them in there. We all already contacted Dominion about putting them all in all theirs, and we're waiting on that now to see if that goes through. Yeah. So much Jig's puzzles cost anywhere from $10 to $17. They're sold in 65 stores in the province and four in Nova Scotia. But Dave Lee isn't stopping there. He has plans to tap into the Asian market and go international. He hopes every little piece fits together as planned to build a big and successful business picture. Guys, the limit, eh? Jane 80 is uh, joining us now. And uh, Jane, you've brought something along. A little gift, a little puzzle I thought might interest the two of you, actually the three <laughs> of you. Uh, this is what it would look like when you buy it in, in this little box. <laughs> and after hours of concentration, maybe you could do it during commercial breaks or something. Oh, yeah, because we've after got nothing After hours, else to do, right? this is the final product. <laughs> 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 and you could frame that and uh, put it up in the office, maybe. I'm not sure uh, if that's a good move for Dave, but anyway. No, I think we're, we're going to get a lot of calls from people uh, looking for these uh, stocking stuffers, particularly that puzzle, of course. Uh, how do they get, uh, get their hands on one Well, of them? this uh, business is actually so new that they're not even in the phone book yet, but I think if you call directory assistance and ask for Jigs Puzzles, or if you call looking for Eastern Printing and Packaging, you should find them that way. Great, Jane. Uh, what have you got for us next week on Money Talks? Well, I'm just going to give you a little hint. Think bubble gum. <laughs> That's it? <laughs> That's all I'm telling you, but you'll have to tune in next Tuesday. But I guarantee you, it's, it's a funny one. Yeah, you'll not laugh. Giving, not giving us much to work with. No, nope. <laughs> That's it. Thanks. You're welcome. Thanks very much, Jane. Well, uh, we'll make a visit to Monday.
This week on Made Right Here, we're in beautiful Portugal Cove, St. Phillips. We are visiting Jig's Personalized Puzzles. And with us now, the owner, we have David Lee. And David, tell us a little bit about how you got started. Um, well, actually, I was on the oil rigs and uh, away from my family all the time. So I, uh, we actually did a fundraiser for my son's diving, and we used jigsaw puzzles. And it was just an idea that I said, you know what, I think this could work, and got me off the rigs and in here with my family. So how is the business going? Uh, really well. We're in uh, 65 locations right now uh, on the island and four off the island, and we're going into Southeast Asia as of the end of December. How neat is that? So how does the process work? Um, well, it starts, uh, you know, you email us the picture. Um, and once you email us the picture, we, uh, we print it off on a, on a color copier. Then we glue the picture, then cut the picture, and then box the picture. And we make it all right here, the boxes and all labels and boxes, and we package it and then send it out. All right, so you got one of my promo pictures here up on screen. Yep, and we received that by email. And then from the email, then we, uh, we crop it and uh, edit it any way we have to to make it the size that we want it. And then we just uh, simply print it off from there. All right, so David, this is where all the magic happens. Yep. Well, we bring um, we bring our pictures down here then, and then we go through the glue machine then. Okay, so Just... your, your pictures come out like this? Yep. And then? Once it's glued to the backing board and cut, that's the uh, product before, just before it's puzzled. Now, who are these lovely youngsters? Uh, that's my uh, three kids. That's my oldest boy and my youngest boy and my youngest daughter. Gorgeous. They've got lots of puzzles, I'm sure. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> they don't like puzzles anymore. <laughs> okay, so where do we go? All right, so now we send this through our glue machine. Now, what happens here when you got it? Well, it's just a, uh, it's a, it's a um, long-lasting adhesive, uh, non-toxic, that goes onto the pitcher, and then we glue it to a back and glue it. Okay, so the glue only goes on one side. Yep. television it's already dried it's already pressed and now we're going over to the cutter so now tell me how this all works well basically through a lot of trial and error we found the exact size that the puzzle has to be which first I just take off an edge okay so now we're all trimmed yep and so then it's trimmed off and ready for puzzling and that's the size that it's going to be yep Okay, so now how do we actually make it into each individual piece? So then we bring it over, we lay it on our die. And face then down? Through, yep, face down. And then through the pressure, you lay a cutting board on top of it, and then it's run through our machine, and uh, it squats out the pieces. And now we've been put through the press? Yep, and this is the semi-finished product. These are your puzzle pieces. Excellent. So now, how did this design here on the foam get pushed up through? Well, it's it's an actual... Dump me off. Yep. It's actually metal pieces. It's a, it's, it, every piece is a piece of metal, and then it pushes up through the foam and cuts the puzzle. Cool. Yeah. Thank you so much for the tour today. Thanks a lot, Danielle. And of course, all these great puzzles, personalized puzzles from Jig's Personalized Puzzles are made right here. Conspiracy theory theory buffs are anxious.